Puerto Rico, in Jamaica, in Haiti, in the Dominican Republic, we're going to live in the worst areas. Am I lying? Listen what the Bible is saying, bro. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. He said, Cursed should we be in the city, right? And cursed shalt thou be in the field. In the field. Well, we was in the slave field. We just said we were cursed, right? How about when, when uh, today, last hire, first fire? Cursing or a blessing? Do you see what I'm saying? This Bible is us, right? Go ahead, give me, um, give me 54. Did your daddy raise you up? You, don't, you said no, right? Did your mom raise you up? You don't even know. Look what the Bible is saying. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Uh huh. So that the man that is tender among you. Because we used to have a love for each other. You know what I mean? We used to die for each other. When we see or our brother hurt, we used to help out. But now we don't get that, huh? Read. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, uh -huh. his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Now, don't we got an evil eye towards, his, towards our brother? You probably can't call you a mess. You can't call him Puerto Rican. You black. You know what I mean? This is a true statement. Read. Toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the wife of his bosom, read. And toward the remnant of his children. Which what? Which he shall leave. Wow. Aren't we known for having one parent household? Keep reading, though, because he said he, his whole family wasn't involved in it. Go ahead. Verse 56. Uh -huh. The tender and delicate woman of you. So Even your mom, right, read. Who did not set, uh, would not venture to set her the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness. Because when we were in rulership, our women never really walked. We had servants for everything. Read. In tenderness, uh -huh. her eye shall be evil toward her, the husband of her bosom. And right now, you know, we get our we get our women, so-called blacks, Hispanics, they got an evil eye towards us, don't they? You hear me? Uh, yeah, well, you know, this is what the Bible is saying, right? Not everybody, women or men, treat their women like that, but our people do, right? All, all they want to see us popping, like, so you want to see, see the women popping their butt on, 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 on Instagram or something, huh? Huh, the other people, the women don't do that, but ours do, read. Her delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. Read. And toward her son. And towards what? And toward her son. And towards her son. And toward her daughter. And towards her daughter. And toward a young one that cometh out from between her feet. So you, do you see what I mean? So this is all prophesied. This is going to happen. Our our parents going to have an evil eye. Our, our, we going to have an evil eye toward each other. But you my brother and you don't even understand that. You really, you, you, you ain't never like, uh, you know what I mean? The, the, the mess, he's my brother. We are from the children of Israel. Read. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. No, just a couple. The Lord shall scatter thee among all people. We got scattered upon all people. We're in Africa, but we're not African. We're in Germany, but we're not German. We're in America, but we're not America. American. You're in Cuba, but you're not Cuban. Listen to what the Bible is saying. Go ahead. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, uh -huh. from one end of the earth even unto the other. We got scattered to the four corners of the earth. You understand me? Because we 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 we, we did not follow the laws and commandments. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Then we're gonna serve other gods. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. So when we in Christianity, that wooden cross, we don't supposed to be putting no wooden cross around our neck. And, 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 and we got a lot of people, Muslims as well, huh? They walk around some stupid stone. Look what the Bible is saying, man. You can trust this Bible. This Bible is your history book. This Bible, this Bible Christ is coming back for you and no one else. Go ahead. Verse 65. Uh -huh. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Because wherever we at, even in Cuba, you ain't got no ease, huh? You, you probably getting murdered there, huh? Your people getting murdered there, huh? Wow, when you come to America, same thing, huh? You go to, you go to Puerto Rico, you go to Jamaica, same thing, huh? Do you see what I'm saying? What the Bible is saying, read. Uh, and among these nations shall thou find no ease. Uh -huh. Neither shall thy soul thy foot have rest. And we didn't have no rest. We gotta work. As soon as we get a check, we paying, we paying bills and we gotta go back to work. We don't got enough to make it to the next week. We're barely making it. And when when one of us do make it, either in baseball, basketball, because we're the most talented, right? That's right. And, aren't we the most talented? Dang near they gotta sell their soul to get that real money. Do you understand me? Or they don't want us, right? But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. And it's scary sometimes, man, when the cops get behind you, right? Because you don't know what they're going to do. Because we can be, you know, uh, 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 Esau can go in there and murder 20, 20 people with a gun and get arrested. But us, we can have not have a gun and get shot up to death. Am I lying? What happened to the cops when they shoot us? So-called black and brown men. What happened to them? They get away with it, huh? It's not that Bible. It's in the Bible, bro. 
Yeah, sure. On um, five, right quick. All right. Ezekiel 35 and five. Uh -huh. Because God has had a perpetual hatred. They, that's a perpetual hatred. You hear me? That's a perpetual hatred, right? And they still hate us today. Get caught, caught talking Spanish inside that store. Somebody can tell you to go back to, they might say Mexico, but you're from Cuba. Great. You know what I mean? Look over here, bro. Perpetual hatred, bro. Look how they're hanging us, man. Look, look, you hear look me? at her smiling. Look, look, look at the young little girl smiling. And, and somebody getting hung. They're taking their kids. You know they made postcards of us being hung in trees and stuff? Is that not a perpetual hatred? That's hatred, right? Ezekiel 35 and 5. But they want us to always be love and forget, right? When has them, did America forget 9-11? Do, did, did, um, did, 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 so fake Jewish people ever forget the Holocaust? But when it comes to us in slavery, they say forget. It's in the past. It's in the past. Why are y'all? They, they say, when you talk about, when you talk about, they say, you, they say, hey, you, you see what I mean? When we talk about our, oh, about our affliction, right, they say don't talk about it. It's over. But when you talk about their affliction, it's cool. Do you know it used to be a black Wall Street when we had our own, our, 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 our own city? Do you know what America did? With, with, with military planes bombed them. Isn't that a hypocritical nation? Because they go around the world talking about you killing your people. Right? Give me that in Isaiah 2. Yeah, go ahead. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Uh -huh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Uh -huh. And hast shed the blood of the children of Israel uh -huh. by the force of the sword. The, the modern day sword is a gun right now, Reed. In the time of their calamity. Uh -huh. In the time of their iniquity had an end. Uh -huh. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord. They got to pay because God calls you. I don't know if you really understand, man. God calls you the apple of his eye. Look what the Bible says. I will prepare thee into blood, okay. and blood shall pursue thee. So now they now we're living in the end days. I don't know how you know. One of the signs is that we're going to begin to wake up and remember who we are. You're not a Cuban. You are a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Manasseh. Do you hear what I'm saying? And God requires something out you more than just knowing. I want you to I want you to hit these curses though. Does this fit everybody or does it fit us? These curses I'm naming. All right. Go ahead and go to Tim first. Yeah. Deuteronomy 10 and verse 1. Deuteronomy 10 and verse 1. Deuteronomy 2. Go ahead and give me Deuteronomy 28. Ships, right? Now, now, now you know your people make the slavery on ships. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Give me, before we do that, give me Exodus. Exodus 20 and 2. I want to understand what Egypt means in this Bible. So you can understand it, right? Because our people, and everybody said they went to slavery on ships. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American people went to slavery on ships. Let me tell Exodus you. Exodus 20 and 2. Tell me, what, well, tell me what Egypt means in this scripture right here. Read. I am the Lord thy God. He said he's the Lord thy God. That's very personal. Read. I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. And Egypt means what? House of bondage. House of bondage, right? Now, he said he brought us out of the land of Egypt. And who, who's, who, who's pictures on the wall when we're enslaved in Egypt? That's us. That's not, that's, that's not no the Jewish people, but it's us, right? He said he brought us out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So now let's see what he said about... This is the ship right here. This is how they had us. Where? They had us, they, they had us in, 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 in them ships like this. Boo-booing and peeing on each other. You hear me? Hatred, right? And this is the ship we were in. This is how they, they, they botched us up in the ship when they brought us into slavery. Now I'm gonna show, now I'm gonna go to Deuteronomy 28, Deuteronomy 28, 68. God said this was gonna happen to our people if we didn't follow his commandments, right? Who did that happen to? Deuteronomy 28, 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring you to Jesus again with ships. God said he's gonna bring us back into bondage, slavery again with ships. Who went to slavery on ships? By the way where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And we have never seen our homeland again. Do you understand me? Look. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. No, to your friends. Sold unto your enemies. To your neighbors. Sold unto your enemies. God said when we get off them boats, we're going to be sold unto our enemies. Do you trust the Bible? I trust the Bible. Let's see. Who are the options by? Negroes for sale. Do you hear what I'm saying? Negroes for sale. Who did we, who bought us when we got off the plane? That is what I'm saying? That's what the Bible is saying, not me. It's something else over here, I know. 
on the auction block? Nah, I must not have it. But yeah, we on the auction block, right? We on the auction block. Go ahead. It's all right. He see it. We got sold. He know what it is. We got sold to. All right. Sixty-eight. Keep reading, right? Uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight verse sixty-eight. Uh, you shall be sold unto your enemies for yeah. bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women. And no man shall buy you. For sure, they bought us. So buy you means redeem you. When you go to Luke chapter one verse sixty-eight, it says Christ is going to save us from the hand of our enemies. And that's a future part of the king tribe. All the people tried, but they got they, they, they got killed, right? I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's some great Cuban people that tried, right? But it, 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 they all failed. Christ is going to come back and save us. But let me go ahead and prove that, because we got sold to our enemies, right? We just said that. Let's see. This is a future prophecy. Christ is still calling them our enemies. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Am I doing my own words on my leaf because I said the Lord? All right, read. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He's the God of the whole world. God of Israel. He said, Blessed be the God of Israel. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know you were that special before you came over here. Thank you for stopping. Look. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He's coming back to redeem us. Read. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Talking about the who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach Yahawashai, read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. was that been since the world began? Since the world began, we supposed to be rulers over all these other nations. Do you hear me? So we supposed to have the kingdom for, 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 since the world began, but we, our forefathers fell off and God sold us into slavery and he let the rod of men punish us, right? Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. We got sold to who? Our enemies. We gonna get saved from who? Our enemies. God is still calling them what? Our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. And, that, and it seems like what we did, right? All right, he want to read something else to you, man. I want you to understand, and then I'm going I'm to show you who God was talking to, and I'm going to ask you what's your nationality again. Because when you came up here, you said you was a Cuban. But these curses for who? Let's find out in a minute who God was talking to, then I'm going to ask you again what's your nationality. And we're supposed to wake you up to who you really are, right? The root of the four, uh, verse eight. Uh, Baruch chapter 4 verse 18. Uh -huh. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of all your enemies. So he brought this upon us. They, they didn't do it but their own power and their own might. He did that because we fell away. And it's a righteous judgment. You hear me? We deserved it. Don't get me wrong. We deserved it. But like I said, the Bible said they did more than they supposed to have said. Give me that Zechariah 1 and 4 again. To show you that, that you know, they did more than they supposed to have done. Zechariah 1 and 14. Zechariah 1 and 14. And Zechariah 1 and 15. I am very sore displeased with the heathen. He's mad at the other nations. The other nations are heathens. You hear me read? That are at ease. And they are at ease because they rule over us with a with an iron, with an iron pole, don't they? We get no break, huh? We can't win for trying sometime, huh? If we just the loving people, we forgive, don't we? We, we, we forgive over and over again, but they ain't forget nothing, right? They look at you like you got boo-boo on your shirt. When you walk in the store, they looking at you like you, you finna steal. You probably won't steal nothing ever in your life. But we still get treated like that, huh? And, 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 and from here to Cuba, right, who got the stores in our neighborhood? From here to Cuba, foreigners, huh? So-called, it's, it's in the Bible as well. We'll come watch, I'm gonna show you, right? Even in Cuba, it's gonna be a, 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 somebody Chinese, some, some, or, or, or Middle Eastern will have the stores even in Cuba. And you can go from here, from California to New York, to Detroit, to Baltimore. There's going to be some foreigners in our neighborhood with the stores and not us, huh? So that's the rats. <laughs> Look at the bed. This is not and I am very sore displeased with the heathen uh -huh. that are at ease. Uh -huh. For I was but a little displeased. And they helped forth the affliction. They helped with foreign affliction. He said he was a little man and they helped. But with foreign affliction. Give me, go ahead, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 43. And then we're going to show them the, you know, you know, what kind of curse there? Deuteronomy 28. Yeah, I, I want 40. Uh, yeah, 43, then jump down to 48. Read. Verse 43. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high. From here to Cuba. And the stores in our neighborhood is going to be a foreigner, a stranger in our neighborhood with them stores. 
from here to Cuba. That's within thee shall get above thee very high. Yeah. And thou shalt come down very low. And we gonna come down very low. When we walk in these stores, they follow us around like we thief, like we got boo-boo on us. You hear me? You hear me? Go ahead. He shall lend to thee. He shall lend to us, right? And thou shalt not lend to him. Because we don't got no money. Ain't nothing to borrow nothing, read. He shall be the head. He should own the store, read. And thou shalt be the tail. And we should be the consumers. From here, Venezuela, Brazil. It's going to be the same people in our neighborhood with the stores and not us. Not too many of us anyway, right? Verse 47. Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. And he did that because we didn't serve the God with joyfulness, read. And with gladness of heart. Uh-huh. For the abundance of all things. Because we had everything. We had servants, bro. Come yeah. on, man. Therefore, read. Shalt thou serve thy enemies? We gonna serve our enemies, read. Which the Lord shall send against us. Uh huh. In hunger. So where do you get your food from, our ashes? Do we own Walmart? We gonna we, we gonna serve our we enemies and food. Go ahead. Back in the box. None of that, right? Not our people, right? Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against us. Uh huh. In hunger. In what? In hunger. You gotta get your food from your enemies, read. And in thirst. Where do you get your water from? Water is free. Why do they got to pay in water bill this free? <laughs> free. In the third. In the nakedness. Where do you get your clothes from? Are we owning the stores? Man, I look like you listening, bro. In the want of all things. If you want a business, if you want an education, if you want to lead this country, you got to go to them and ask permission to leave. I think they got, you gotta buy a, a, a password. And where, where are we? And they're teaching us nothing about us. They teach us about you. Who are they teaching us? How about you? They teach us about you. Really? They, they teach about everybody else but us, huh? We, I think we started in slavery when we came to the That's why I think we started. We, 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 we just fall out the sky and, and that was it. What was, who was we before that? The African soldiers. The Africans are not us. They gotta pay too. They gather us up and so We're not no Africans. Come on, man. Come on, where, where, where the African baseball players at? How about, how about basketball players? One or two. That's it. One or two. And the one of all things. And right. he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall put a yoke of iron. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Happen to the natives. That's our people. Happen to the. Do you hear me? It, 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 I bet you if you Google some. Oh, when Cuba, I bet you gonna have a yoke of iron around your neck. Happen to the. Our, we got our brothers in Australia as well. You hear me? Same yoke. They went to bondage as well. Wherever we at, the nation with the eagle is going to be rulership over us. Wherever the dead bodies, and we be the dead bodies, why are we dead? Because we left our heritage. We don't know who we are. We are God's own people. And God calls you a God. Small to Not big. Now let's go. Now give me, um, until he has destroyed until he has destroyed you. You think you're Cuban? You think you're Mexican? You think you're black? By our enemies, right? Now, now, I want to God told Moses to tell who that? The children of Israel, right? All right, so now read that. I'm going to show you something. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. 46, 45. Go, go verse 45. 45. Uh -huh. Moreover, all these curses. All, shall, these, all these what? All these curses. Going to slavery. All these curses. One parent household. All these curses. Having an evil eye towards your brother. All these curses. Being mowed down by the cops. All these curses. Locked in prison houses. All these curses. Shall come Strangers up, above us. All these curses. All these curses. Go ahead. Shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Uh huh. And overtake thee. Pursue y'all in Cuba. Pursue the natives over here. Pursue us in the west coast of Africa. Because when, when Jesus walked, the only tribes were there was the tribe of Judah. 
Benjamin and Levi. You guys were already over here. So when Jesus said, I was only sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he was talking about because you guys were over here. Listen to what the Bible is saying, read. <clears throat> Till the, uh, overtake you, till thou be destroyed. Until we destroy people, because now we don't even fight for nothing. You hear me? Run the king, all he got was beat up. You hear me? And people riot. Right now they kill us, and we just going about our business. We got no love for each other. Matter of fact, we love That's not me. We love our oppressor. Yeah, worried about myself. <laughs> we love our oppressor more than we love, we love our brother. Right? Go ahead. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. Come and get this wisdom, brother. Go ahead. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, um, which he commanded. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Born in slavery. They shall be upon thee for a sign. One parent household. They shall be upon thee for a sign. Evil eye towards your brother. They shall be upon thee for a sign. Uh -huh. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. God left you a sign. When you go, when you go to Jack and Watch, you know it's Jack and Watch right here. So when these curses, you gonna, you gonna know like yeah, cause it's a sign. So he gonna so so God was telling Moses telling who that the children of who? Israel. So he came up here. He said, I asked for the nationality of this world you. Now, after all these curses and the signs that God left for you, what's your nationality? Read that again. Read, 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 read 29 again. I want you to read this. Right? Deuteronomy 28. I mean 29 verse 1. Uh -huh. These are the words which the, the, these are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. Now go to 45. Yeah. Yeah. And they shall be upon thee for a son. Born in the slave. They shall be upon thee for a son. Locked up in prison house. They shall be upon thee for a son. Strangers getting above thee. They should be upon you for a sign, uh -huh. for a wonder, and upon I see forever. So what, street, say, what street is this right here? How do you tell? By that sign. So, do you say, do say black people? Do you say Cubans? Who do you say is going to be going to the church? Israel. You are Blessings of the 